Gentlemen, my favorite activities are camping, pool parties, and picnics. But you can't have any of those things without a barbecue. In this first round of competition, you'll have to harvest steel from this barbecue and forge camp knives between 10 and 12 inches in length as measured from the tip to the plunge grind. And one other thing, your blades must also include an operational bottle opener. Good luck, bladesmiths. Your time starts now. Immediately, I look at the spit, and that looks to me like it's going to be high carbon steel. Put it down, put it down a little lower past this. Now it's up to their own skill set to determine what's mild steel, what's high carbon steel, and how to assemble those things into a billet. Well, let's test some of these pieces of steel here. You can do a smart test. Put it surefire away, just take a piece of steel, get it hot, quench it, and check it. And I chop off a little piece of that spit. I throw it in the forge immediately to see if I can get it up to temp, quench it, and check to see if it's hard. As that piece gets up to heat, I quench it. No. The file does not skate at all, which means that that's not hardenable steel. I need to think of a plan B. Ding, light bulb goes off, throw it in a canister. I'm just gonna cut up pieces of steel and I'm gonna throw all of it into a canister with some 1095 and that will hopefully give me a solid billet. If you're not sure what's in there, I'd go with Canister Damascus. You got a 1095 powder seal that you know you can mix in between. Once my billet is up to the right temperature. I'm gonna very gently squeeze it. Just think of it as like a snowball. You push too hard, it's gonna go everywhere. You slowly pack it both ways, and then when you finally get to where you need to be, you can really get some force on it. But the first, you need to really take some baby steps to get that weld set. It's now or never. I gotta get this welded. Ah, oh, no. oh, come on. What happens to the canister? Big old gap in there. Ugh, this is bad. As I peel off the canister, I am just hoping that I have a solid weld. Oh, no. Oh, what? What? Wow. I dropped it when I was grinding, and it split on me. He's inspecting the inner contents to see if they weld it up, and he doesn't look happy. Again, when he came off the press, it didn't look like he'd reduce that can much, so he might not have pressed it down. This is unusable steel. Check out Justin. And I think he's thinking about what to do now. I have to start over. Now I'm moving on to that big chunk of spit. I'm just taking the best guess on what I know I can at least get a knife-shaped object out of. I cut off pieces of grate. All right, round two, here we go. I know that I'm up against the clock, and it's going to be tight. It's going to come down to the wire, but I never give up. We got Nick trying to bang a billet out of a hot can. It's not working out for him. It is very difficult. Luckily, the can finally comes off. Woo! There we go. I've never put a bottle opener in a blade before. I'm thinking I'm going to put a ring at the back end of the knife. I think that swell will help keep the knife in your hand. And it's not up on the blade in case you have to baton it. And you're not going to cut yourself when you're opening your beer when you're camping and fishing, right? Looks like Justin was able to quickly forge out a blade with his mono steel. And Cameron's still working on his second pin. Yeah. He's still got a long ways to go. We got to heat treat this thing. Nick's blade's looking real nice. That's a nice camp knife shape. My blade is fully hardened. Justin just quenched. I'm just praying to the gods of metal that this blade is going to come out hard. And it's not hard. I think, well, maybe I'm working with mild steel. Well, if I don't have a hard blade, I might get eliminated. I'm freaking out. I don't have time to make a whole other blade. All I need to do is have a high carbon edge. I'm just going to cut some pieces off this grate, and I'm going to do a snap test. 
I know that if I get some bitch with a hammer and it breaks, that means it has carbon in it and it got hard, and I can forge weld it onto the edge. Broke it right off. Broke yeah. it right off. Now you know that's hardened steel. I'm able to peel my second canister off and start forging it. Cameron, just so far behind the power curve. I know that to meet the parameters, I still have to put a bottle opener on this knife. The camera needs to work very quickly because he still has to quench that blade. Justin is perfectly shaping that piece of high carbon steel to the edge of his blade. I really do applaud the fact that he was in the middle of that and found a way out. I like it. Clock's ticking. I'm almost out of time. The high carbon steel on my edge needs to get hard. And here comes the file test. Yeah, man, it's hard. 30 seconds! You got enough. You got enough, buddy. It's now. already hot. Oh, thank right, you! There we go. Oh, Five, four, three, two, one. This first round of competition is over. All right, bladesmiths. This is the sharpness test, the pork shoulder slice. Unlike the strength test, this is all about what your edge will do to these pork shoulders. Cameron, you're up first. Are you ready? Yes, please. Since we asked you to do a bottle opener, we're going to test to see if it'll open up. And just to let you know, it's root beer because we don't beer and blade. All right, Cameron, first up, your bottle opener works. Your edge, it's not very sharp, but it cuts. But that's a lot also to do with the velocity I'm doing in chopping through the meat right there. With everything that you've done, your blade, sir, it'll cut. All right, Justin, it's your turn. Are you ready, sir? Oh, yeah, bud. All right, Justin, your edge not only is sharp, but look at what it did. It cut through bone. It's a deep cutter. And of course, I got a swig. Overall, sir, your blade, it will cut. Thank you. Nick, your turn, sir. You ready? Let's do it. Let's do this. I'm thirsty and I guess I'm going to do this test thirsty. Nice. Thanks. All right, Nick. It's very nice to slice and dice. Nice slashes, nice deep cuts, even cuts to the bone. But I'm still thirsty. <laughs> Overall, sir, your blade, it will cut. Yes. All right, gents, it's time for one of you bladesmiths to leave the forge. The bladesmith leaving the forge is... Cameron, your blade did not make the cut. You did a great job, but at this time, I need you to please surrender your blade. I'm proud that I never really gave up. Good job, Cameron. Seriously. Thanks, guys. I believe that I gave everything I had this entire challenge, and I sure had a hell of a time competing. <laughs>